today, we're gonna be looking at five viral effects that you guys can use on your edits. These are gonna be super easy to create and customize to your own liking. But before we hop into this, I have to let you guys know about our Black Friday BOGA that's going on right now. If you guys have ever wanted to support the channel or grab an editing pack from our site, now is the time. If you buy one editing pack and add a second one to your cart, that second pack will be completely free. You guys can do this up to three times, so I recommend going crazy. We have everything ranging from color grading, drag and drop 3D, fast movement effects, and a lot more. If you've been looking to invest in yourself, now is the time. Go check out the effects that are linked below. Top right into this. Starting off with the very first effect here, guys, we have this super sick clone effect that comes out and goes back in. You guys can create this super easily inside of After Effects in just a few steps. All you're gonna have to do is right click on the clip you wanna do it on in Premiere Pro and open with an After Effects composition. Now that we're inside of After Effects, guys, the first thing you wanna do is double click on your clip, go up to the roto brush right here, and you wanna rotoscope them out. If you guys haven't rotoscoped before, I have a few tutorials on that on my channel, but I'm gonna skip over this part because I'm assuming lots of you guys know how to do this already. All right, so now once you have a rotoscope, we're gonna go through and make sure it's looking pretty good throughout the entire thing. I'm not gonna make it perfect for the sake of this tutorial, but you guys get the point. So once you have your subject rotoscoped out, you wanna go back into the composition. We're gonna duplicate them once, go to the bottom layer and delete the roto brush from it. And then we're gonna turn that one off just so we have the very top layer here. We're gonna go into our roto brush settings. I recommend turning up the feather to blur the edges a little bit and then turn down the shift edge and you'll get a look like that. Then I recommend going ahead and duplicating this one two more times and turning back on the bottom layer which is gonna be the background. All right, now once we have all of these set up, these two middle clips here are gonna be our clones. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open them up inside of transform here. I'm gonna bring our playhead to about here, set a keyframe for position, and then bring it to about here. And we're gonna have this one move to the right. And then we're gonna open up our second one here. We're gonna copy the exact same thing. Instead of moving to the right, we're gonna have it go to the left, just like so. And as you guys can see, if you want it to be longer to pop out, move these keyframes more to the right. It's going to take more time, as you guys can see here, for them to pop out. I like how that looks there. And if you want your keyframes to be a lot more smooth, highlight them and then press F9 on your keyboard. That's going to turn on Easy Ease. And as you guys can see there, it's a lot more smooth. Then we're going to go towards the end of it. We're going to copy the beginning keyframe here and then go towards the end. And we're going to paste it somewhere about here. And we're going to do this for both of these. And then we're going to go a few more frames just like so. And we're going to move Kodak back into himself just like this. Boom. As you guys can see, he goes right back in like so. Now this effect is cool, but to give it a little bit more sauce here, guys, we're gonna go onto our layers that we have selected here. And we're gonna turn on this motion blur option. As you guys can see, it's the second one here. We're gonna do that for both of these here. And if we go to mid animation here, you guys will see he will have blur on them. If we turn that on and off, it looks a lot more natural to the edit with it on there. Now to spice this up and add the final amount of sauce to it, we're gonna right click, hit new and create an adjustment layer. And we're gonna be using my good old friend Shake Sauce here. This is my favorite extension for After Effects. I highly recommend it if you guys are looking to add shakes and hits to your video. It adds that extra oomph. If you guys wanna go check it out, it's linked below. We're gonna go and double click the quick hit with flash and it's gonna put it on our adjustment layer right here. We're gonna hit U on our adjustment layer, highlight our keyframes and we're gonna move them in between the middle of the transition. We're gonna press Control C to copy it. We're gonna paste it right in between this one here. And if we play that through guys, we have something just like this. Super simple and easy to use clone effect. You guys can customize it with a bunch more things. If you wanna use film burns, if you wanna use some distortion effects, if you wanna use hue, change the color of it. I'm just teaching you guys the base effects so you can customize it to your own liking. Now moving on to number two, we have fast movement effects, which are hits and shakes for your videos inside of Premiere Pro. This is an editing pack that I made myself and I'm very proud of it. I use it on every single one of my edits here. I'm gonna play this through for you guys without the fast movement. And then with the fast movement here. Really adds that extra energy and ump to the video, especially for the parts when the bass hits. We have a nice little hit here. I'm gonna open it up here for you guys. We have Fast Movement Effects V3, which is my newest one. I highly recommend going and checking this out, especially if you do edits in Premiere Pro. All you have to do is create an adjustment layer, put the adjustment layer between your two clips, just like this, and drag and drop an effect on. So as you guys can see, there's nothing on this adjustment layer right here. Then we're gonna drag on Shake 2 with Flash. And if we play that through, you guys can see we have a super fire transition right there. And you guys can go into the effects and customize the amount of brightness, the amount of shake and everything just like that super easily. Moving on to our next viral effect here, guys, we have this black and white threshold effect that I'm honestly a super fan of. If you go in here, you guys can see it goes from normal footage 
to this black and white threshold effect. This is super easy to create. All you have to do is duplicate your clip just like so. Go into effects and we're going to drag and drop on noise and then drag and drop on threshold here. Now, as you guys can see, it looks kind of weird right now, but also kind of sick if we show the before and after just like so. If we turn the amount of noise up, as you guys can see, it's going to show more of the image. So that even looks sick there. I love how his chain is really the main focus here. And then if we go and drop down the threshold here and bring it down and get more of the image or less of it, just like so. Totally up to you guys on what kind of effect you want to do with this. Now, if we bring it over, right click and apply a default transition, it's going to add a cross dissolve. And as you guys can see, we could have it go in just like so. And you guys can customize the amount of how fast you want it to go in to the effect here. But if you pair this effect with something like flicker from our fast movement effects pack, go under camera shakes and extras. And if we add constant brightness flickering, then we drag and drop the flicker on top of everything. You can get a really cool effect just like this. Now moving on to the next one here, guys, we have speed ramping. Now I'm gonna do this on this gunner video here. So pretty much what speed ramping is, is you're gonna be controlling the speed of the video clip. So if you shoot your videos in either 60 FPS or 120 FPS, that's what I recommend doing because you can really play with the speed and intensity of the video and chop it to look really cool. So let me show you guys here, for example. Right there, when he puts his hand down, we're going to cut our clip, right click, and we're going to hit speed and duration here. We're going to go and make the speed and duration 50% here. And as you guys can see, goes into slow-mo and then we can right click, cut it again, right click and change this to 200 here. So it speeds right back up. And right when he puts his fingers out, we're going to do the exact same thing here and bring this back down to 50. And that is just the super quick tutorial of speed ramping. I recommend you guys do this on your videos. So shoot your videos in 60 or 120 FPS, trust me. Mix this in with some hits and shakes and it will take your video to the next level. And moving on to the very last one here, we have subtitles. So for this entire Kodak Black video that I did VFX on, I added subtitles for everything and there is some sauce inside of Premiere Pro that not a lot of you guys know about. If you go into the text tab here, you go over to transcript here, hit the dots and you can create captions just like so. I've already created them, but for you guys, it's basically going to give you the option to pick the audio layer on what you want the captions to be created from. And it's going to go ahead and automatically turn all of these into captions and put them above your video. Once your captions are in here, they're going to be above everything in the subtitle section up here. Now, what you want to do is highlight all of them, go over to graphics and titles and upgrade them from a caption to a graphic, which will then put them down here just like this. And then once you do that, you can actually add effects onto them. So if I go over to effect controls here, you guys can see I have directional blur on top of these subtitles here. Because if you go to the very beginning of it, as you guys can see, it's blurred. So it goes in between each one and it's transitioning between each one by blurring. And those are five viral effects that I recommend you guys try on your videos. Remember, just use these at the base and customize them to your liking by adding your own style and effects that you already know how to do. And don't forget about the Black Friday sale. It's on right now. I really do recommend going and checking it out. Buy one, get one free editing packs or buy any, get any free editing packs. Who would pass up on a deal like this? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.